Welcome to 2MinEnglish.com, teaching you English through two-minute lessons. In this lesson, you will learn phrases that you can use to communicate at school. Hi there, how are you? In school, we talk about a lot of things with our classmates. We share our things, tell stories, and have a lot of fun. If we want to make a lot of friends at school, we need to communicate with them. And if we want to learn as much as possible, we need to communicate with our teachers. Today's lesson will show you a variety of conversations about school life. Practice the dialogue by pausing the lesson and repeating the lines anywhere you want. It'll help you build up your English fluency. Also remember to check out the vocabulary section at the end. Shall we get started? Hey, do you have an extra pen I could borrow? I can lend you one for this class, but I'll need it back when class is over. That'll be good. I forgot to bring my pencil box today. Not a problem. Here it is. Thanks. I'll return it as soon as the class is over. Where's your homework assignment, Nate? I couldn't complete my assignment. And why was that? We had some guests over last night, so I couldn't work at all. All right. You've got three hours after school. Complete and return last night's homework assignment before the day ends, and you'll get your grade. Thank you so much. How good are you in math? Well, I know 2 plus 2 is not 5. All right, I get it. You and I are in the same boat. Yep, but why did you ask? I was looking for someone to help me study. The syllabus seems pretty long. Yes, it is. We could ask our teacher to give us some extra lessons after school. Will she be okay with that? Don't know, but teachers always say that we can ask for help anytime. We can test her. Dude, help means one or two days, not every day for the entire syllabus. Well, Okay, let's see how much help she'll give us for the midterms. What have you packed for tomorrow's field trip? Well, I followed the checklist given by the instructor. I didn't get any checklist. Can I borrow yours? You would have gotten it if you were mentally present when they gave it. Well, you can have my list now. I'm already done with my packing. All right, thanks a lot. I'm really looking forward to this field trip. Borrow. When you borrow something, you use something that belongs to someone else and then return it. The person who receives something from someone else is borrowing it. Lend. When you lend something to someone, you give it to them to use, expecting them to return it. The person who gives something to someone else and expects to get it back is lending it. Homework assignment. Homework is the extra work we receive from school that we must do at home and return to class. In the same boat. In the same boat is an idiom. It means that someone else is in the same situation as you. If you are in the same situation as me, then we are in the same boat. Midterms A test given in the middle of the course to test what's been learned so far. Syllabus The syllabus is an outline and summary of topics to be covered in a course. Field trip An educational class trip to somewhere away from the school. It could be to anywhere, like the zoo, a factory, or maybe the theater. It could be for a few hours or a few days. Checklist A checklist is a list of things to remember or to do. Mentally present Listening or paying attention to something is called being mentally present. Thank you for watching this lesson. We'll be back with a new one tomorrow. Do come back and check it out. Like this lesson by clicking that like button below. Also remember to subscribe to our channel with the button on the right to stay updated about all of our new lessons. Bye-bye.